check that. But um, wherever you're listening at now, live or recorded, um, I just thank you for tuning in to get these these, these tidbits and these messages and these seeds um, that are being planted. And um, if you'd like to send me an email, um, feel free to send me an email, any questions, any comments, anything um, that, that, that you want to talk to me about, you can send me an, an, an email at, um, my email address, um, send me a message at worship, worship at praise and prayer.org. That's worship at praise and prayer.org. And also go over to that site, go over to that site and check it out. It's an, it's a nice little plain site that I made, you know, for the the father it's god's site and um check it out check it out um as i created the site and everything um put a little header john three sixteen up there uh for god so loved the world he gave his only begotten son um and um it's a nice nice clean site um there you can um submit a prayer request pray along with me um listen to some lovely Christian music there. I have a player embedded and also there's a daily, um, word there that, that, um, appears every, every day and a new daily scripture. Um, you can go there, bookmark the site. Um, and, um, there's a daily scripture that, that, that comes So come back often. And, um, also there, um, you can receive Jesus Christ into your heart. Admit that um, he is the son of the father and that he did give his life for us so that we um, have a chance at eternal life, that our sins are forgiven. And um, if you pray along the salvation prayer there, say it out loud, speak it and believe it in your heart. Um, Thank you. Welcome you just planting seeds, just planting seeds again. Also you, there's a free gift of, PDF download book there that I have um, that um, you can have on your computer, your cell phone, whatever device you have. And uh, the book is there for you free to receive as a gift from me. Um, Thanking you for uh, receiving your salvation. And um, it's a book about um, just living in in different ways to to live and and, um, different different a lot of information in there just go ahead and um check that out if um if you um decide to uh, receive your salvation there at um that's www.praiseandprayer.org that's www.praiseandprayer.org um so go over there and um check that out check that out so it's a lot going on on that site. Uh, so it's good that you're here. And I'm just here um, every week. Every week. Um, just just speaking a little truth. Um, up, to, up to 30 minutes, give or take or so. Um, so I'm, I'm just here to speak the truth and to plant the seeds. You know that um, we're we're in in any way that we can. That's what I'm here for, and um, I welcome you. So um, you can again, you can go on that site and dedicate yourself, or rededicate yourself. And um, if you don't have a, a if you have a place of worship, um, and you re, you dedicated yourself or rededicated yourself there. That's fine. Just as long as um, you say it and mean it in your heart, wherever, wherever you have dedicated or rededicated yourself. But um, that site there is open for you to do that, to do that. So I just, just thank you for, um, just thank you for tuning in. I really, really, really appreciate you all. And um, if you don't have a place of worship, um, I, um, just seek out a place of, of worship, pray to the father to show you a place, um, where you should go, where you should go and grow into his word. And also, um, 
You can listen every Tuesday on the um, church service over the phone, prayer line, uh, Pastor um, um, Addison Adamu and his wife Tawana. That's A-D-D-I-S-O-N Adamu, A-D-A-M-U. You're free to get on the church service over the phone, prayer line, well, um, prayer line, yeah. He does pray for everyone, not individually, but as a whole. But um, get on there every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Stand- Eastern Standard Time. And um, from 9 to about 11, he's there. Tuesdays, and he's also um, on the Word Network. I think he's making some change. He's on the Word Network and um, Impact Network um, as of now. So get on there and um, you can get on his website and check out the times and the phone number and everything um, and um, get the information about the um, the prayer service, the church service over the phone every Tuesday and Friday. But you're welcome to do that also. He's also on uh, Facebook also. So check that out if if you have a place of worship or if you don't. It's also always good to get in contact with 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 um, other ministries um, just to reach out. And I know that I've I've received many blessings and many miracles through his ministry. And um, it's just a blessing. It's just a blessing um, to feel that the Holy Spirit has no boundaries. So you can get healing um, over TV through his words or, 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 or um, whoever's anointed. You can get healing right there through the phone, church service over the phone. It has happened to me. I'm a living witness. And um, Holy Spirit has no boundaries. So, you know, um, just throwing that out there. So I just, I just thank you. And what I want to read now, um, is the book of Titus, the book of Titus chapter two. I'm going to read a couple of verses there and, um, um, we'll be finished in a little bit, but, um, that's Titus. I'm reading from the NIV and whatever version that you're reading from King James version, the ESV um, New King James or whatever it is is fine um, it's it's all the same the wording may be different but the Bible is the same but I am reading now from the NIV and uh, you can turn to Titus chapter 2 I'm starting from verse 11 it's a couple verses here and um, that's chapter 11 and um, if you don't have your Bibles um, with you, just it's fine to listen. Just go ahead and listen. So I'm going to start reading. This is about the grace of God. God is an awesome, awesome, awesome God. So it reads, starting at verse 11. For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled upright and godly lives in this present age while we wait for the blessed hope the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own eager to do what is good these then are the things you should teach encourage and rebuke with all authority do not let anyone despise you now this is wonderful. This is wonderful. Just a couple of scriptures here. And um, that is Titus again. Chapter 2 starting at verse 11. And the grace of God. God gave his only begotten son. And, 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 and right here is telling us. 
to spread the words spread the words do good among each other be eager eager to do good teach people encourage people and and rebuke yourself rebuke doing bad don't do bad don't let anybody despise you don't let anybody despise you the roots that you have within yourself that you've established don't let anyone tear those roots down don't let anybody bring you down in the grace of God without the grace of God we wouldn't have eternal life without the grace of God eternal life Jesus would not have came to this earth and obeyed his father and gave his life for us and that's what it is acknowledging and accepting that and believing in your heart and knowing what it is without the grace of God we wouldn't have the Holy Spirit within us the same Holy Spirit before Jesus went back to heaven before Jesus before he died before he sacrificed his life he told his disciples that he would be with them always that he would send a helper to them a helper that would be with them always and that was the Holy Spirit that was the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit Jesus lives inside of all of us the same Holy Spirit that the disciples had is the same Holy Spirit that lives inside of us we don't know the power that we have and the goodness that we have and because of God's grace we have that Holy Spirit it is granted because of 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 God's grace we have faith God we can't get faith on our own God has to put faith within us and then the faith increases as we have that knowledge of God as we learn more and read more and and learn what our, our Heavenly Father wants and requires of us we have that faith and that belief we should have faith and belief just like little children do when you you tell a child something they believe it they believe it they believe mom and dad they believe they don't doubt they believe okay mom okay dad okay they believe it's just like if if take the example i heard one time about one time if if you're out swimming with your children if father's in the swimming pool and there's a child there his child and never child's never been in the water just maybe been waiting a little bit father waiting the child and waiting waiting the child in the water a little bit you know take him in take him out but this time dad wants the child to jump into his arms dad's right there and he's holding his arms out and he's telling his little child go ahead jump i'll catch you go ahead don't be afraid i'm here to catch you jump into my arms little child standing there maybe not scared maybe a little scared but eventually that child's gonna jump into dad's arms and dad catches the child that faith we must have that faith just like and belief just like little children do in order to come into God's kingdom and that's because of his grace we have faith in the beginning but our faith increases as we begin to know more and more and more about God and the the father and the son's goodness so we have a lot to be thankful for we have a lot to be thankful for and um I want to read something here Isaiah um, chapter 1 verse 16 and 17 it says wash and make yourselves clean take your evil deeds out of my sight stop doing wrong learn to do right seek justice defend the oppressed take up the cause of the fatherless plead the case of the widow so here we are supposed to just 
We're not perfect, but stop doing wrong if we know we're doing wrong. Old habits and things, we need to just 